Hello everyone! Can you believe it? We're going to install the motherboard with the CPU, heatsink, and RAM into our computer case. Before we just place the motherboard into the computer case and call it a day, we first need to install the standoffs into our computer case. These standoffs will be used to secure the motherboard in place within the computer case. Some computer cases will have built-in standoffs, like mine for example. Others, you'll have to take a standoff and install it yourself. These standoffs are commonly small, and you'll screw it in using an adapter that comes with the standoffs. In order to locate the standoff locations, it is best to take your motherboard and practice placing it into your computer case. Step one is to align the motherboard in the correct direction by having our adapter ports facing out of the back of the computer case. So we'll take our motherboard, The motherboard is resting in the case. Step two is to locate the exact standoffs that are needed by looking at the screw hole locations. If you take a close look at it, you can shift the motherboard and we'll be able to find the exact screw hole locations that will be needed. Step three is to remove the motherboard and then screw in the standoffs at the correct locations. Since my computer case does not require this step, we're going to continue on. Assuming you've installed your standoffs, step four is to take our I.O. plate, input-output adapter plate, and align it on the back of our computer case. This will provide adequate dust and airflow for our computer case. Let's position the I.O. adapter plate with the writing and ports in the correct direction. If you install the I.O. adapter plate upside down, the motherboard won't be able to fit correctly. So make sure that it's correct. As you put the plate into place, give it a push in each corner and along the edges and you'll hear it snap into place. Take your time on this step as some adapter plates are plastic while others are metal. They are possible to bend and or break. Now that the plate is installed, put the computer case back on its side for step 5. Lowering the motherboard into place. Let's finish installing the motherboard. The key of installing the motherboard is to put it into the case at the correct angle. As we place it in, we need to align the I.O. ports of the motherboard with the slots of the I.O. plate. If I pick up the case, we should be able to see it resting nicely. At this time, we can use our screwdriver for step six, installing the screws into the motherboard standoffs. One by one, we will install the motherboard screws. Make sure not to install the screws too tight, as you don't want to crack the motherboard through excessive force. Don't worry about the screws being not overly tightened, as we have a good amount of screws to keep this motherboard in place. If you choose to upgrade your CPU or heatsink in the future, some gaming and high-performance heatsinks actually require you remove the motherboard and install a special plate to the back. Let's get started installing those screws. Now that all the screws are tightened, we are good to finish our build and continue on to the next video. Who knows, you might be removing your motherboard and installing it again in the future. Get your practice with us here for installing a motherboard into a computer case.